we are from at home tuition in this video we are going to see few examples on reducing the equations to its simpler form the equation is of linear equations involving only one variable on both the sides of the equation first question is solve the following linear equation the question is x plus 7 minus 8x divided by 3 equal to 17 divided by 6 minus 5x divided by 2. So, we are writing the equation as such. Now, first step, we are going to transpose this minus 5x divided by 2 on the right hand side to left hand side. So, left hand side will become x plus 7 minus 8x divided by 3. This minus 5x divided by 2 will become plus 5x divided by 2 equal to 17 divided by 6. On rearranging this, so you are writing x minus x. 8x divided by 3 plus 5x divided by 2 plus 7 equal to 17 divided by 6. Next step, we are transposing plus 7 from left hand side to right hand side. So, the equation will become x minus 8x divided by 3 plus 5x divided by 2 equal to 17 divided by 6 minus 7. Now, here the denominators are different 1, 3 and 2 on our left hand side. So, we are going to take LCM for this because if you want to add or subtract all the denominators should be same. So, to make that we are taking LCM. So, the LCM of 1, 3 and 6 is 6. Then if you are looking to your right hand side, here also you have 6 and 7 by 1. So, here also we can take the LCM as 6. Therefore, we are rearranging the equation to get the LCM of 6 on both the sides. So, 6 into x divided by 6 minus 2 into x divided by 2 into 3 plus 3 into 5x divided by 3 into 2 equal to 17 divided by 6 minus 7 into 6 divided by 6 into 1. So, now 6 into x will become 6x divided by 6 minus 2 into 8x will become 16x divided by 6 plus 3 into 5x will be 15x divided by 6 equal to 17 divided by 6 minus 7 into 6 is 42 divided by 6. So, next step we are all the 6 denominator is common. So, you are taking and writing the denominator 6 common. We are adding all the numerators. So, 6x minus 16x plus 15x divided by 6 equal to here also the denominator 6 is common so we are subtracting the numerator 17 minus 42 divided by 6 so on solving this we will get 6x minus 16x will be minus 10x minus 10x plus 15x will be 5x divided by 6 equal to 17 minus 42 is minus 25 divided by 6 now we are multiplying by 6 on both the sides. So the equation will become 6 into 5x divided by 6 equal to 6 into minus 25 divided by 6. Now the 6 in the numerator and denominator will cancel on both the sides. So the equation will reduce to 5x equal to minus 25. Now next step we are going to divide by 5 on both the sides to get the variable x. So 5x divided by 5 equal to minus 25 divided by 5. So, you will get x equal to minus 5. Thus, we can conclude that x equal to minus 5 is the solution to the given equation. Now, let us verify our solution by substituting in the left hand side and right hand side separately. So, the solution what we got is x equal to minus 5. Now, we will consider only left hand side that is x plus 7 minus 8x divided by 3. Instead of x, we are going to substitute minus 5. So, the equation will become minus 5 plus 7 minus 8 into minus 5 divided by 3. So, minus 5 plus 7 will be plus 2. This minus and minus will become plus 8 into 5 is 40 divided by 3. Now, if you want to add this, you want to make the denominator same. So, to make the denominator same, we are going to take LCM for this 2 alone. So, we want 3 in the denominator. So, you are multiplying and divide by 3. 3 into 2 divided by 3 into 1 minus 40 divided by 3. 3 into 2 is 6. 3 into 1 is 3. So, 6 divided by 3 plus 40 divided by 3. Now, the 3 denominator is common. We are taking it out and we are adding the numerator. So, 6 plus 40 divided by 3. That is 46 divided by 3. So, our left hand side is 46 divided by 3. 
Now we will move on to the right hand side and we will substitute x equal to minus 5 in the right hand side. So right hand side is 17 divided by 6 minus 5x divided by 2. 17 divided by 6 minus 5 into x minus 5 divided by 2. So 17 by 6 plus 5 into minus 5. So this minus, this minus will become plus 5 into 5 will be 25 divided by 2. Now if you look into the denominator, you have 6 in one expression and 2 in the other expression. So it will, should be the same. So now we are converting this 2 into 6 by taking LCM. So 17 by 6 plus 3 into 25 divided by 3 into 2. So now the denominator will become 6. So 17 divided by 6 plus 3 into 25 is 75 divided by 6. Now here the denominator 6 is common. We are taking out, we are adding the numerator. So 17 plus 75 divided by 6. 17 plus 75 is 92 divided by 6. So if you reduce this, you will get 46 divided by 3. So our left hand side is equal to right hand side and we can say that our equation is balanced and therefore we are concluding that x equal to minus 5 is the correct solution to the given equation. Next question is solve the following linear equation x minus 5 divided by 3 equal to x minus 3 divided by 5. So in our first step we are multiplying by 3 on both the sides. So our equation will become 3 into x minus 5 divided by 3 equal to 3 into x minus 3 divided by 5. So this on the left hand side 3 and 3 will get cancelled. You will get only x minus 5 equal to 3 into x minus 3 divided by 5. Now next step to remove the 5 on the right hand side denominator we are multiplying by 5 on both the sides. So 5 into x minus 5 equal to 5 into 3 into x minus 3 divided by 5. So now 5 in this numerator 5 in the denominator of right hand side will get cancelled. Uh, the final equation will be 5 into x minus 5 equal to 3 into x minus 3. Now we are using distributive property to simplify the equation. So 5 into x, 5x minus 5 into 5 will be 25 equal to 3 into x is 3x minus 3 into 3 will be 9. Now we are transposing 3x from left hand side to right hand side to left hand side. So 5x minus 25 plus 3x will become minus 3x on the left hand side which is equal to minus 9. On rearranging, we will get 5x minus 3x minus 25 equal to minus 9. So, 5x minus 3x is 2x minus 25 equal to minus 9. Now, next step, we are going to transpose this minus 25 from left hand side to right hand side. So, the equation will become 2x equal to minus 9 plus 25 that is 2x equal to 16. Now, we are dividing by 2 on both the sides. So, 2x divided by 2 equal to 16 divided by 2 that is x equal to 8. So, we are saying x equal to 8 is the solution to the given equation. Now, let us verify our solution by substituting in both left hand side and right hand side separately. So, the solution what we got is x equal to 8. So, we are taking the left hand side that is x minus 5 divided by 3. Instead of x, we are substituting 8. So, 8 minus 5 divided by 3 that is 3 divided by 3. So, left hand side is 1. Now, we are considering the right hand side which is x minus 3 divided by 5. So, instead of x, we are substituting 8. So, 8 minus 3 divided by 5, that is 5 divided by 5. So, right hand side is 1. So, thus we are concluding that left hand side is equal to right hand side. So, our equation is balanced and x equal to 8 is the correct solution to the given equation. Hope you have understood both the questions very well. Thank you for watching the video.